Greetings. Welcome to your post-Cabinet briefing, where we provide you with key updates on matters of national importance, implemented by your government for the betterment of the citizens and residents of St. Kitts and Nevis. I am Dr. Marcus Natter, Cabinet Secretary. The Cabinet Ministers met under the Chairmanship of the Prime Minister, the Honorable Dr. Terence Drew, on Monday, January 30th, 2023, and made several significant decisions to improve the well-being of our people. Following a two-month window with the general public, including non-governmental organizations and civil society organizations, were able to scrutinize and provide feedback on draft bills, Cabinet approved the following pieces of legislation, namely the Integrity in Public Life Amendment Act, which gives the Integrity Commission the necessary legislative support and creates the Office of the Special Prosecutor to receive complaints, investigate, and prosecute acts of corruption throughout the public service and within statutory corporations. The Anti-Corruption Act, which creates criminal offenses of corruption, seeks to protect whistleblowers, and gives the Special Prosecutor powers to not only prosecute offenders, but to seek recovery of proceeds of corrupt activities. And the Freedom of Information Amendment Act, which promotes the disclosure of information in the public interest and provides an effective mechanism by which members of the public, particularly the press, can gain access to government information. Additionally, the Cabinet approved the Official Gazette Act, which will create certainty as to when laws and statutory instruments are published and provide for the digitization and publication of the Official Gazette of St. Christopher and Nevis. And the Criminal Records Amendment Act, which seeks to expand the offenses by which convicted persons criminal records can be expunged. These approvals represent the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party administration's seriousness and commitment to the implementation of good governance structures. Members of the public can expect to see these bills tabled and debated during the upcoming National Assembly sittings on February 8th and February 22nd this year. This has been your post-Cabinet briefing for January 30th, 2023. Be sure to tune in again for more updates on the projects and policies that will advance our great nation. Thank you for tuning in.